I can't believe this. Everything is falling apart. What's gotten into you, Bob? I am sick of the incompetence around here. Oh, and you're the picture of perfection. At least uh, I try to get things done. Don't you dare lecture me about effort. You always have to make it about you, don't you? Ah, uh, the classic you turn, Bob. Guys, we are going live in 3, 2, 1. Hello, listeners. Today we're diving into a topic that affects the soul, government efficiency. Or rather, the lack thereof. Picture this. You have a big meeting where someone lay out all the problems we're facing and suggest solutions. But when it comes time to act on those solutions, nothing happens. And that, my friends, is the epitome of bureaucratic stagnation. Frustrating. Right. Well. That's exactly what's happening in Malawi. A country in southeastern Africa. The government there gives an annual speech called the State of the Nation Address. Can we please focus? We're live in five. What now, Deb? Oh, Gert, always so serious. What's the hold up this time? Probably Debbie's incompetence. I heard that, Roger. Well, Roger, at least you're consistent with your cynicism. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Agreed. Earthling the way to wisdom. Indeed, let's delve into human motivations. As if they have any worth studying. Here we go again. Going live again. The government there gives an annual speech called the State of the Nation Address. Or SONA for short. In this speech. The President. Lazarus Chakwera. Talks about the country's issue and proposes ways to fix them. Yeah. At least Chakwera's not proposing stand-up comedy as a solution. Sounds good so far. Doesn't it? But here's the catch. Despite these solutions being laid They often out, don't get put into action. Why? You ass. According to Felix Anjouala, the spokesperson for a political party called UTM, is because the government departments responsible for implementing these solutions are too relaxed. Yeah. Can we please stay on topic? What's the problem now, Debbie? Oh, Gert, always so impatient. What's the debate this time? Ah, the topic. As elusive as a Mississippi steamboat in the fall? Probably something trivial. Just another day in space. Gert, you're missing the point entirely. I... I beg to differ, Charlie. Can we just agree for once? Thanks, right? Let's focus on the issue. It's like talking to a wall sometimes. Wish they'd listen to me. Okay, take it from the previous line, and we're live. It's because the government departments are responsible for implementing these solutions are too relaxed. They lack urgency. It's like they're dragging their feet when they should be sprinting. Ah, the irony, like trying to dance in wooden clogs. And that's a big problem because it means important issues like the economy aren't getting the attention they need. Now, let's break it down even further. Imagine you're playing a game with your friends. And one of them keeps promising to do their part but never follows It's through. frustrating. Right? Right? Well, well. That's how it feels for the people of Malawi. Yeah. We need to sort out our technical issues. What now, Debbie? Can't you handle it? Maybe we should help Debbie out this time. Well, Debbie's technical issues are more elusive than a UFO sighting in Kansas. Let's assess the situation objectively. It's probably just another minor glitch. We can't afford any more setbacks. Fine, let's see what needs fixing. Together, we can overcome any challenge. Debbie, you have our full attention. Let's get this over with quickly. In three, two, one, we're live. That's how it feels for the people of Malawi. They hear these promises every year in the sauna. But they don't see much change in their day, today, lives. Well, sounds like the Malayans are getting more tricks than treats, It's huh? like a broken record playing the same tune over and over again without any variation. 
and that's not fair to the citizens who are relying on their government to make their life better. So, what's the solution? Well, according to Angela, everyone involved needs to step up their game. That means the government departments need to shake off their lethargy and start taking action. It means the politicians need to hold them accountable and make sure they're doing their job. Well, looks like we've cut right into the action. We have a situation on our hands. What's happening now, Debbie? I hope it's nothing serious. Let's assess the problem calmly. Just another day in space, I suppose. The systems are malfunctioning. We need to fix this quickly. I'll check the navigation systems. I'll run diagnostics on the engines. Like it matters in the grand scheme. We'll weather this storm together. Agreed, let's get to work. Last part, let's get this. Well, if storms were currency, we'd be billionaires. That was quite an episode we just watched. Indeed, it was a whirlwind of emotions. Bob seemed rather agitated, don't you think? Yes, his frustration was palpable. And Alice didn't help calm the situation. No, she added fuel to the fire with her remarks. Overall, it was chaotic. Chaos seems to follow them wherever they go. True, but it does make for entertaining viewing. Agreed, the drama keeps the audience engaged.